Hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm delighted that we do have support from all the main political parties here today. We've also got a speaker from the Green Party in a minute, but I'm delighted to introduce to you um, the MP for South Swindon, and Snellgrove. <laughs> Um, oh good, it's working. Um, I'm really delighted to be here this afternoon to join you um, in calling for uh, an immediate ceasefire. It's what we've been calling for in the debate in the House of Commons this Thursday. Um, I visited um, Gaza last March as part of an all-party group um, to see what was happening in Gaza. It was awful, it was tough then. I went to Shifa Hospital, which is one of the. Is that better? I went to Shifa Hospital, which is one of the hospitals uh, dealing with the uh, dreadful situation of the, uh, the wounded and the dying. And when we went to Shifa, we discovered that a three hour power cut at Shifa would immediately kill. 80 children and adults because of the uh, medication they were on. A three day power cut, which wasn't unusual then, uh, would kill another 100 people. So it isn't just the casualties who are, who, are, who are dying or wounded or injured or have unfortunately died through the attacks from Israel. It's the people who are suffering from kidney problems, premature babies, normal life is not part of Palestinians' understanding. And so I condemn Israel's action in attacking uh, those innocent children and the innocent people of Palestine who have had such a lot to put up with. And one of the tragedies of this, what we saw last year, was the UN UNRWA building new homes for the refugees um, who were living in very squalid conditions after 60 years. Those new homes will have been destroyed in this um, in, in this in these incidents, in this war. But I also condemn the Hamas attacks uh, on Sidorot and Israeli cities because any attacks on innocent human beings is wrong and terrorism breeds terrorism. Councillor Monto said this very eloquently and I agree with him. I want a 22-state solution for the Middle East. That's Israel and all of the Palestinian states and all of the Arab states. They all need to work together to come up with a solution to the Middle East conflict. And we need it now, and I promise I will continue to work. I've just joined the newly launched Labour Friends of Palestine, and I will work with my colleagues and comrades at the House of Commons for peace, and I hope we will hear that there is a ceasefire this weekend. Thank you.